tries to cover up the pain and cut her woes away. This couple girls don't cry after the face is made. But there's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark. You should know you're beautiful. So yesterday I went to Walmart and I got this little thing. It's the Eggy Egg Timer. So I'm going to use this today. We're going to be hard boiling some eggs and it's pretty cool. You toss it in there with the eggs that you're going to try to boil and it'll tell you how, how ready they are. Medium, hard, or soft. So we're going to make these right now because we're going to have a protein salad for breakfast. Yes, that's right. A protein salad for breakfast because I need to save most of my carbs for the evening for my protein shake. So let's go ahead and head into the kitchen and hard boil some eggs. gonna pop it in with the eggs I'm gonna be doing let's see seven eight eight eggs and the egg timer it's kind of cool Got it. it's supposed to float what the heck? Did I drop it in there wrong? <laughs> Before it gets hot, let me stick my hand in there. Okay. Let's see. What? What the heck? So I'm assuming as soon as it starts getting hotter, it'll start to float, hopefully. Because it's not floating right now. And it's floating in the picture. Anyways. So currently making some green juices to deliver to my clients. These are green juice gallons. I deliver green juice gallons every Friday, or at least once a week, once or twice a week, depending on the orders for the week. But just wanted to show you how beautiful they look. <laughs> Okay, so the eggy never floated to the top, but it worked. I don't know if you can tell, but they're hard. Cool down first, peel them, and then next we're gonna get our salad washed, and I'll show you the rest of the ingredients for this salad, and then I'll show you the macros for it.
So that is it for the salad. You guys just saw everything that I put into it. I'll go ahead and list the macros for this particular salad right here if you'd like to give it a try. Um, you guys saw me put one Neutralite digestive enzyme sprinkle it on top of the salad and that is because enzymes help you digest everything They help you digest your proteins your carbohydrates and your fats So your body naturally produces these enzymes in your saliva But what happens is with the liquids that we drink during our meals you'll tend to kill them off so I supplement this um, usually once a day to aid in digestion and it helps you de-bloat your stomach and it also helps you in your weight loss efforts. Remember, they're not magical, but they're going to help you out if you're doing your part. So what that's going to do is it's going to help you break down your macronutrients and keep you nice and de-bloated in the belly area. So <laughs> that is it for the salad. I'm going to go ahead and take you guys with me throughout the day today and just try to show you what I eat in a day because I'm in prep today. I'm going to go get some chicken and do all of this that so right now I did film my workout yesterday my leg day it was lower body pull so I'll go ahead and play those clips for you right now and I'll do a voiceover because it was actually really hard yesterday first day back from vacation that's what we're doing today I'll go ahead and catch you guys in the voiceover Hello friends, welcome to today's voiceover. This is the first time that I'm doing a voiceover, so hopefully it's not too terrible. But really I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys um, about the footage that you're seeing right now in regards to training while you feel like crap. <laughs> So this is my first day back from a whole week of vacation with zero training, like I mean zero. Like maybe the only cardio that I got in was walking. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys how I struggled through this like whole workout the other day. This was on Wednesday, I think it's January the 5th on Wednesday. But I started off my workout with some deadlifts and I usually will pyramid my way up with weight and keep my reps at 10 reps, 8 reps, 8 reps, 6 reps. But this is actually the last set that you're seeing, last set out of three sets, and it just felt freaking hard. Like as you can see, I just kept having to pause and reset and you know just try to push through it, but I really felt it. I, I really did. And you know that that's not a bad thing, but I just kind of wanted to tell you guys, you know, I, everybody has those days. I know what it feels like, you know, to go in there and just kind of feel like walking out instead the minute that you walk in but if you push through it I promise you that you will feel so much better in the end um, this was 185 pounds and I usually will lift it for six reps at the end and I had to drop my reps down to four reps at the end so you know got it done kicked myself a little bit but made it happen so just gonna wait for myself to finish lifting this last rep and then move on over to some hip thrusts. So after the deadlifts, I did hip thrusts and I do the same thing for the hip thrusts. I'll pyramid my way up with weight and keep the reps at 10 reps, eight reps, eight reps, six reps. I was able to keep the reps there for the whole time, but I really was just trying to focus on mind muscle connection throughout the whole time. Even though looking at the footage now, it kind of looks like it was actually not as slow as I thought it was. But really when you're doing these types of isolation movements where you're focusing on a single muscle group, like in this exercise that you're seeing right now as well, the kneeling squat where you're isolating the glute or you're isolating a muscle, it's super important to be focused on what you're doing and not just let your mind wander off. It's, kind of, it's called mind-muscle connection where you're literally thinking about what your muscle is doing as you're going through the movement. And I promise you, if you do mind-muscle connection and you focus on getting a good squeeze, good reps, good quality reps every time, you will feel the burn 10 times more and it'll just be so much better um, for you in the end. You'll feel, you'll feel it a lot better. Um, so then I moved on over to the cable tower and I did a superset of straight leg glute kickbacks and I superset that with hamstring curls and as you can tell I was having to pause and the reps were getting kind of sloppy but I pushed through it so really I just wanted to say that even though it feels like it might not be a great workout you know a workout is better than no workout so 
get into the gym if you're on your way to the gym right now and you maybe don't feel 100% your best, push through it because you'll feel great afterwards, I promise you. So anyways, enjoy the rest of the footage and I'll catch you So currently at El Pollo Loco in Temecula, I added some seasoning to my salad and it tastes really disgusting. So I'm just gonna get a little side salad here and just use the clear egg boiled hard boiled eggs that I had already used on my salad and eat because I'm hungry. So this is the little side salad from Boyo Loco. It's just a bunch of iceberg lettuce, probably right around 100 grams of lettuce as well. So exactly what I had in the morning. But like I said, I added some seasoning to the salad thinking it would taste like better and it ended up tasting super nasty. So I was not gonna eat that and decided to just grab one right here on the way. So the reason I asked for it with the toppings on the side is because it comes with this. It comes with a little um, serving of chips and this is actually less of a serving than what they will put in the salad if you don't order it separate. So this is not the amount that would originally be in here. Originally they would be like maybe twice the serving. And then this salsa, which is freaking amazing. It's the cilantro sauce and I love it, but I can't fit that in my macros right now. So I'm actually just gonna save this and maybe use it for tomorrow's salad. And then these are the salsas that I got. So I'm gonna dice up that jalapeno and add it to the salad. I grabbed a little bit of the green sauce and I'm gonna do the whole serving, some cilantro and onion, and then save these for tomorrow's salad. So that's it, I already dissected <laughs> the egg from my other salad, so I'm just gonna toss that in and that's it. Oh, and for a drink, I'm drinking some infused water, and that's rosemary and hibiscus and just natural water, so. So super excited, you guys. Just got home from Best Buy and finally got my new workstation. So I got a Dell um, all-in-one. So it's Windows 10, and it has one terabyte hard drive, you guys. I'm super freaking excited. I'm gonna go ahead and edit today's vlog on this and show you guys what it looks like once I set it up. So let me go ahead and set it up and then show you again. Boom. So this is the new station. It's a Dell, a Dell all-in-one and I'm super excited to get to use it. I'm actually going to be editing this vlog on the new PC. I'm installing the software right now. So we're installing Adobe Elements and Photoshop Elements 14. So super excited. I'm installing the software right now, you guys. I'm going to finish installing it and then get on to editing this video. If you enjoyed any part of today's vlog, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. I know I didn't get to do it what I eat in the day today because honestly the day just kind of flew by, but I promise that tomorrow I'm gonna do that for you guys. I'm gonna do the cooking and everything that I promised. So tomorrow will be a what I eat in a day. And yeah, that's it for today. I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Bye.